Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to solve for the tension force using Newton's second law. To solve each of these problems, we follow two steps. The first is to find the acceleration of the entire system. The second is to solve for the tension force. To find the acceleration, we consider the system as a whole and look for, at the external forces acting on the system. We can disregard the weight force because it is balanced by the normal reaction force. Therefore, we only have one force contributing towards its motion, the 6,000 Newton driving force. Newton's second law is the vector addition of all the forces will equal the total mass multiplied by the acceleration. Since the total mass is 2,000 kilograms, we can find the acceleration equal to 3 meters per second squared. Step number two requires us to isolate the caravan and consider the forces acting on it. Since the only contributing force is the tension force, which must be equal to MA, 500 multiplied by 3, we get 1,500 newtons. Now let's consider if there was a frictional force of 2,000 newtons acting on the caravan. The vector sum of the two forces equals 4,000 newtons, which must equal the total mass multiplied by the acceleration. Solving the acceleration gives us 2 meters per second squared. Isolating the caravan once again, there are two forces acting. Tension minus 2,000 must equal MA, 500 times 2. Solving for the tension gives us 3,000 newtons. In question number 3, we have a weight force of of the 600 kilogram object driving the system. Five thousand eight hundred and eighty newtons equals the combined mass times the acceleration, which means A equals two point eight meters per second squared. Solving for the tension in the rope, we can isolate the car and say T equals fifteen hundred times two point eight which gives us a tension force of 4,200 newtons. If we add the frictional force to the car, we get 5,880 minus 2,000 equals 2,100 times A. Therefore, A equals 1.85 meters per second squared. And isolating the car gives us T minus 2,000 equals 1,500 times 1.85. We can solve for T, leaves us with tension equals 4,701 Newton. In question number five, we have opposing weight forces. Using Newton's second law, we get 7,840 minus 5,880 Newtons equals their combined mass of 1,400 kilograms times by the acceleration. Therefore, A equals 1.4 meters per second squared. Isolating the 600 kilogram mass, we get T minus 5,880 equals 600 times 1.4. Therefore, T equals 6,720 newtons. The last question requires us to take the component of the weight force parallel to the incline into account. Remember, this is equal to mg sine of the angle. So considering the system as a whole, we get 12,000 minus 2,000 times g times sine of 10 degrees equals the combined mass times a. Therefore, acceleration equals 1.7 meters per second squared. And isolating the caravan gives us t minus 500 times 9.8 times sine of 10 degrees equals 500 times 1.7 leaves us with a tension force equal to 1,702 newtons. And that's it for today. Please check out all the other VCE resources at www.physicseducation.com.au.